Okay, so we're going to talk about parts of congruent triangles. So we have this triangle ABC, and we're told that it's congruent to triangle DEF. Now the way you name your triangles is important, because if these two are congruent, then all corresponding sides and angles are congruent. So angle A, right here, has to be congruent with angle D, right here, which, if you look, they are. So angle B has to be congruent with angle E, which we know is true because angle B is a right angle, which is 90 degrees, and angle E is also a right angle, which is also 90 degrees. And angle C, this last angle, has to be congruent with angle F, which we know is true. So, not just the angles, corresponding angles are congruent, but the corresponding sides are also are congruent if these triangles are congruent. So, AB is congruent to DE. BC is congruent with EF. And AC is congruent with DF. So now that we know how which angles have to be congruent to which, we're going to do an example naming which angles are congruent. So if we were to name this triangle according to how it's congruent, if we start with T, we know that triangle T, we're going to go T, V, U is congruent. Now we have to name them the same way. So we went from one, one arc mark to three. So we have to go from one to three. So triangle Y, W, X. We have to name them the same way because corresponding angles and corresponding segments have to be congruent. So this means that angle T should be congruent to angle Y based on the way we named it. And this has one and this has one so that means they are congruent. So angle V has to be congruent with angle W, which that's three, that's three, we're good there. And angle U has to be congruent to angle X. So we got two, we got two, we're good. All right, so now we have to make sure that their sides, the right sides are congruent. So side TV, right here has to be congruent with YW right here which is right because they're both marked the same way. Segment VU has to be congruent with WX 2, 2, we're good and that means that UT or TU, either way, is congruent to YX, which TU is right here, YX is right here, so we're good. And we're going to do one more example, but we're going to name, we're going to do it by naming the triangles that are congruent, and we're going to name them according to their corresponding parts. So for the first one, we're told we want to say that triangle H G I is congruent to another triangle. 
So we have to look at which sides and which angles are congruent so that we can name them correctly. So if I start with angle H, this is two marks, so I need to start with the angle that has two marks, which is right here, angle K. So we're going to start triangle K, and then I need to go in the same direction that I went last time. So I went H to G, H to G, which is this 10 inch side. So I need to do the same thing on this triangle. I need to go to the 10 inch side and go to L, which makes sense because angle G and angle L are congruent. And finally, I'm going to go, I went from G to I, so I have to go down this 6 inch side on the other one as well and go J, which makes sense because J and angle I are congruent. So we're going to do the same thing but in a different but for a different triangle. And these are all the same triangles it's just the way we name them is important to talking about their congruency. So Triangle JKL, JKL is congruent with, so if I start with J, I have to start with I right here, so triangle I, and then I went to K, so I have to go to angle A H right here, and then I went to angle L over here, so that means I have to go to angle G over here, because L and G are congruent. Same thing, but I'm starting with I and I'm going to G, and I'm going to H. So I started with I, so I have to start with J on this one, and then I went to G, so I have to go to L on this one, and then we went up to H, so I got to go up to K on this one. And then one more, we have L, J, K. So I started with L, so I have to start with G on this triangle. I, s I went to J, L to J, so I got to go G to I, and then I went up to K, I went up to K this way, so we got to go up to H this way. And that makes sense because if you look at it, H, G, I is really just, is really reflected over to get K, J, L, because we still have H up here, then I would be over here, G would be over here, so that's why these are reflections of these. So now that we can talk about which parts of of triangles are congruent, we're going to talk about some theorems to proving triangles are congruent in our next video, so be sure to watch it.